Hello everybody, Shark Wayne here. A while back when I decided to go get another six pack of Buckler, uh, one of the register people, or registers, or cashier, yeah, cashier people, <laughs> one of the cashiers told me that uh, this one particular beer I was going to check out is right now is actually really good and pretty tasty. So I decided, you know what, why not? I'm going to go ahead and check it out in my next show. So. And here we are. Uh, the beer that she was talking about was uh, St. Pauli. Um, or at least St. Pauli's uh, non-alcoholic beer. Uh, here it is. It's a nice German lady on the front there. Blonde hair, blue eye. My kind of lady. And um, she told me, the cashier person, she told me that it was actually really good and it tasted pretty nice and so I just thought, hey, we're gonna, I'll check it out. Uh, so here we are. And I tried the, the St. Pauli's, um, if this is how it's um, pronounced good, if it's not, forgive me. Um, I tried a while, I tried the regular beer a while back, I, I thought it was pretty good, I didn't mind it and um, yeah, so. Hopefully she is right. If not, then I'm gonna have to tell her she was wrong, which is something that I probably should not do. Oh uh, yeah, it's imported from Germany, so you know it's pretty good stuff. I mean, if it's anything like the um, the, the I think the oh right, here we go. If it's anything like the Klaus Hofster beer, then I think we're in for a really great treat. All right, here we go. Alright. Mm. That does actually smell really good. Like um what is that? Um like like uh, like a German beer. I'm guessing generalizing that most German beers kind of taste like Heineken. Um, so far, the, the non-alcoholic German beer that I've come across kind of has that particular taste, so I'm just kind of generalizing here, so forgive me if, if I came ac come across beerist or something. But it does smell good, like a nice German beer. Alrighty, let's see how it is. Okay. All right, just like the yellow beer, um, but it has the same signature color, so that's good. Mm. It's um smells all right, you know, it's not too bad. All right, let's. Let's take a test. Taste test. Mmm. She was right. It it actually is really good. Mmm. Mmm. It definitely has that nice, great, nice beer flavor. That German imported beer flavor definitely has that taste there. And. Mm. And the uh, the aftertaste is it's, it's a little it's also sweet a little bit just like a hint of sweetness and it kind of dissipates it dissipates real quick but once the once you put the liquid inside your mouth it actually does taste pretty good like like um like you would drink a normal beer beer excuse me beer and <laughs> it's really good. Oh yeah, that is definitely good beer. And yeah, the, the, the after, like I said, the aftertaste definitely has that little sweetness to it, and it definitely when you with uh, like I said, the liquid hits your tongue. It definitely has that kind of nice, good flavor of beer. So it's definitely really good. Mm. 
Oh yeah. I have to go up to that cashier and tell her, you know what, lady, you were right. This is actually really good. Mm. Mm. Well, I think it's uh, pretty fair that I'm gonna have to rate this beer um, a five out of five. This is actually really good. It definitely has that nice beer flavor to it and it definitely does not um, have like the horrible taste that uh, Bushed has it, it, or like no taste at all. It ha actually has really good taste. So my rating scale, one being, like I said, one being like carbonated flavor, carbonated water with food coloring. It, of course, that's that's awful. Tastes bad. And number five, which is the really closest thing to real beer, except without the alcohol, I would have to rate this, uh, like I said, a five out of five. That's actually really good. Well, that's it. My name is Shark Queen, and if you so happen to be out drinking, please, please, please drink responsibly. But if it's non-alcoholic, and drink up, motherfucker.